Hello, this is uh, Mr. Abed here. Uh, in a collaboration with uh, some teachers in Prembe College, we are putting together uh, the strategy and the easy workout method that we can able to use to solve uh, this WASI past questions. So please, uh, if today is your first time, or if you have not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. Anytime we post a new lesson, you can able to. All right, today we are looking at how we can able to simplify algebraic expressions. So algebraic expression is uh, our operations together with uh, numbers and then the variable that make up algebraic expression. So with that said, that means we need to know some of the other stuff, operations, especially when we have, we say uh, negative times negative is equals to a positive. You have to know that because we are gonna need it here. And negative times positive give you negative, and positive times positive give you positive. So we need to know this as we are moving forward. So in this question, we have been asked to simplify this. That means we are going to remove the bracket, and then we combine like terms. So we rewrite the first term over there, which is 3 and then this negative here is multiplying. Here there is nothing, so we know that it's supposed to be positive so negative times positive give us negative p and then we multiply this negative times this negative here and that give us positive x over there down with this we move on with this one so negative times positive give us negative r and then negative times negative give us positive p now we are going to combine like terms. So realize that this is P and this is P. And it's of equal number. So P minus P is equal to zero. So this will go away. And here we have X here. It's plus X. That means it's one over there. So one plus three give us four X here. And now this one doesn't have a friend, so we bring it down and it's minus r. And that give us our final answer. So we go through the list and realize that oh that was c. Here we have been asked to simplify this expression. So looking at the multiple choice, most of the expressions, algebraic expressions comes in the multiple choice. So looking at here, what we could do. Let's factor out the common. So we have we have a square here, a to the power four here. So we can take a squared out, and we have b to the power four and b squared here. So we can also take b, but we can't take b to the power three because that this one will not be going in there. So we are looking at this first term here. Realize that we have taken the a squared and we have taken the b squared. But it was b to the power 4. So what is left is b squared. We bring our operation, which is minus. Here we have taken all the b squared out. And now we have taken a squared out. So what is left is a squared. Close it. And then we repeat the denominator. But we are not touching it right now. So looking at the denominator, we realize that this expression end up this is like a fractional way by end up not in a fraction. So we, that means something have to cancel, and we have to look at here. This is the difference of two squares. We have b squared and minus a squared. So we can use that idea anytime we have b squared minus a squared is the same as b plus a and then a b minus a so we can substitute this one for that one okay so i'm writing it here so we have our a squared and our b squared and here we are replacing it with this and now we will it will be canceling this so be careful this is this addition is committed if we can switch it. So I can write this as a plus b. So a plus b, and then here b 
minus a all divided by a b and a plus b so here we realize that we have the same up at the numerator and the numerator so they turn into one so they goes away a squared b squared b minus a all divided by a b so what we are going to do is this every number is of power one so power one here power one here so uh this can reduce this one into one and they can reduce this one into one so here we are getting a b then b minus a as that we look at the multiple choice we don't see it. so that means we have to uh, remove the parentheses so we have to distribute this to that and that give us a b squared because b b can be squared and then we bring our sign minus a a so a squared b and now we check to see if the answer is in there and yes it is here okay so here we have been given expression here and they want us to expand that means they want us to remove the the parentheses so let me rewrite it here we have 5x minus y and x minus 3y so here we have to apply for well for it that means we take this first one here and it's going to multiply the whole of this So that's a distributive and then we take the whole of this remember the negative y and it's also going to multiply the same that one too and then from here we multiply this to this x x here so x squared 5x squared okay so here when we multiply this to this it was x here so we have to be x y and now we are here this times this give us minus x y and then the negative times negative we learn from the first that it's going to be positive so it's going to be 3 y squared here the middle here is light term here is one we didn't write it but that, that we can put it in there if that will help now we rewrite this as 5x squared and this become negative negative you put it together okay negative 16 x y and then plus 3 y squared we check if it is there and yes it's b okay, here it so we have been asked to factorize this expression here that means that the previous question that we just saw it was they wanted us to expand it but this time around they want us to put it in the bracket we can break it into two two to see but as we break it into two two we don't see the common we can rearrange it so we have to rearrange this number so we have to bring this one here a little closer so that we can have the pp and then we look at the middle numbers also together so it can be rewrite as p minus bp and then we bring this one here minus b q plus q and now we look at 2 2 here and we want to see which one is common p is common so we take the p out and what is left p times what will give us pp times one we bring our sign and here we have already taken the p so b is left over there close it and then we want to get here minus so we write minus right minus and then here what is common is q so we take q out and then we have taken the q out so it's b that's left it shouldn't be negative because negative times the positive will give us back the negative and here we are not going to write positive because we need a 
positive back so it's going to be negative here we get one okay so here we realize that they are of the same but that kind of a little bit flip so what we have to do is let write p one minus d we want to make here negative and make here positive so let's make it plus k and then here becomes negative and here become class one which we can write it turn it around one minus d plus q over here one minus b and now since we have the same in the parentheses we can take one of them so let's take the number in front that's what we call the coefficient. So let's take the coefficient so p plus q, and then we take one of it because it's of the same, and that give us our finance. And so we check which one is a p plus q, and then one minus b and it's c. Uh, please, uh, if today is your first time, subscribe, like it, and share with your other classmates in class and see you in the next video. Be blessed. Bye-bye.